review the accounting distributions for this transaction. Click the Start Demo button to commence the demo. For this session, we use the Order Management Super User Responsibility that comes seated with Oracle Applications. This responsibility gives the user access to all menus and functions within Order Management and Shipping. Certain documents or reports can be printed when we perform the pick release of an order. We can compile these documents into a document set that we then associate to the sales order release process. Here, we will briefly review the document set before releasing the order. Here, we are validating that the pick slip report is included in the document set that will print when we release the internal order. Now, we will release our internal order. We are attaching the document set that we just reviewed. We will enter our order number. Selecting the ship from or source organization. We have an existing on hand balance for the required item in the store's sub inventory of shipping organization A1. Auto pay confirm is set to no. This implies we will have to manually transact the pick wave move order. The pick wave move order has been created. The pick wave move order number and the sub inventories at organization M1 that are involved in the pick and firm process appear here. The remaining details for picking the material are available here. Let us review our pick wave move order.
Here, we are querying using the pick wave move order number that was generated when the sales order was released. We will perform pick confirm by transacting the pick wave move order. This process will move the material from the stores to the staging sub inventory in M1. This time, we will query the pick wave move order using the internal order number. Let us review the move order line to ensure that everything is in order. The material has been moved from the stores to the staging sub inventory. Let us review the material transactions. We will retrieve the material transactions using the internal order details. We see two transaction lines here. The first one represents the receipt into the staging sub inventory. The second one represents the issue from the store's sub inventory. Let us review the accounting distributions for the pick confirmed transaction. The material account of the store's sub inventory is credited. The material account of the staging sub inventory is debited. The unit cost used for the pick confirmed transaction is the item cost as defined in the source organization, A1. It is important to note that for material distributions to be created, the cost manager must be active, as we see here. Before we initiate any transactions in inventory, we need to ensure that the cost manager status shows as active. If the cost manager is inactive, we would launch it from the tools menu in the interface manager's form.
this brings us to the end of this session.